What's up, guys? It's El Diablo here. I wanted to let you guys know before the episode starts that I recently was in a rom-com podcast uh, called Meet Cute. You can listen to it on Spotify and Apple. The season that I'm on is called Guilt Trip. So check that out. It was a lot of fun. My first voiceover gig. So let me know how you like it. On top of that, let me know how you like the podcast so far on Spotify. If you're listening, there's a little poll or questionnaire you can do at the bottom. Let me know how you're liking the podcast or you can drop a comment in YouTube. Yeah, because I just want to know how you guys are really receiving it. If you're having a good time, even if you hate it, I want to know all the good stuff, all the bad stuff. Let me know. You guys are like, please, for the love of God, stop talking to us and just start this fucking episode. All right, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Here's episode 11. Okay, 1-1, one, one, episode 11 of El Diablo, the podcast with guest comedian Rachel Williams. Let's fucking go. Oh, we have notes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> you know, this is yeah. a big moment for me. And I use, like, I mean, I'm just a fucking idiot, and I have, like, 15 different notepads. <sighs> uh-huh. And, um, uh-huh. and then I finish one, and I'm like, God, I can't. Yeah. All my notes are in the la- I I walk around. Like, I when I switch over, I just walk around with the old one. Like, I, yeah. I, I never look back at it but i'm like i need to have I it need, with me yeah yeah it's, it's my like training wheels we- <laughs> yeah it's like a weird um i don't know like a comfort blanket yep. like stuffed animal but it, yeah yeah these, these things are gonna be inside you um <laughs> but okay what's up hey. um thanks for coming on the pod dude the last stoked <laughs> yeah dude i was excited last time we were together we were like hammered <laughs> at a bar and uh l played Dave Matthews band. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> People were so pissed. Because cause one of our friends kept playing so- Sean John, and I was like, we need it. We need to stop this right now. Yeah, we need something way better. And then so Elle puts on Dave, and I was like, really? <laughs> She's like, you don't understand. He's so good. Seen him 21 times. Dude, Dave is so good. He's such a good... Nobody likes him here. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when it came on, the bar went silent. And everyone was <laughs> like, who the It's like, urge. <laughs> I was like, like, why do people keep looking at me? I'm like, they're not. They're not. (laughs) It was Rachel. (laughs) It it was one of the two white girls. Yeah. Yeah. And then and then it was really obvious we put it on when Taylor Swift came on. And we were like, that was (laughs) Yeah. Oops. Sorry. She honestly, anytime I (laughs) anytime I walk in a building and Taylor Swift is playing, I'm like, this place has really good music. You guys know what you're doing. It's like an urban outfitters. You're like Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Who's got the playlist? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I fought her for. I fought liking her for so long. Dude, same. Fought like, her for a while. Like I thought I was so cool in high school, and I was. Um, I was like, no, like I like indie rock. And yeah. Rock and roll. And <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I was like, I like rap. Yeah. It's like Fifty Cent. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah. You like no, you candy don't. story. Yeah. 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 Shit. yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And um, did you say candy story or candy shop? Store. Candy shop. I'll take you to the candy, candy shop. story. <laughs> God damn it. And um, yeah. And then I started like listening to her in my car, like oh. in secret. Yep. It was how like it starts. My, my gay little secret. <laughs> so it starts exactly. <laughs> then I came out the closet and I was like, you guys. And people embraced you. Yeah. People were like, hey, it's We knew okay. it the whole time. We yeah. knew it the whole <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah. yeah. We knew. You're like, guys, I need to tell you something. It's like, yeah, everyone already knew. You're yeah. like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Was it like the no. blonde hair and the way I <laughs> yeah. scream my feelings down the hallway? <laughs> yeah. I, uh, and now I like listen to her other shit, especially because my TikTok just was like you like her and i was like no i don't they're like yes you do and i'm like okay and then i started listening to her other albums okay dude my tiktok tries to tell me that i like certain things yeah. that i truly do not like. and then you get brainwashed into liking it and i'm yeah yep. and then i'm like yep. fuck yeah like i would have never been interested in the johnny depp trial dude never. would not no but then you know tiktok's like but have you seen this and i'm like she took a shit in the bed <laughs> <And> yeah. <I'm> like, <laughs> yeah. you're like okay staying up I'm till 3 a.m yeah. just watching johnny dude, depp past prime just melted our brains <laughs> yeah set them on fire yeah. and made us into like little like i don't know soldiers yeah of, like oh yeah celebrities uh-huh. it's so gross yeah 
Yeah, that was wild. And then, oh my God, think about the lawyers. Like, I'll forever know what his lawyers looked like because of oh yeah Camille Camille yeah yeah yeah, yeah the hot one yeah and then there's oh like, and then we were like they're getting it on yeah that yeah, was the whole dude. thing oh yeah. with the the oh what she was like the scientist there was like an extremely hot neuroscientist oh i don't remember or her psychologist for him or for so her? it no it was for it was for johnny depp and so both johnny and amber they had like psychologists like analyze them yeah <laughs> Or analyze Amber to yeah. see if she was like mentally insane, and Johnny like, Depp yes was like she was so Smoke. hot she was Damn. so hot I don't and, remember her and she was like yeah um Amber like got me or she said she got Amber cupcakes and then Amber was trying to tell everyone that she was trying to like bribe her or something and then well, but then they were like she has a personality disorder or some shit right yeah. They gave her something. And then I feel like since then I've been diagnosing people with personality <laughs> disorders. So I was like, anyone that pisses me off, like bothers me, I'm like, <laughs> obviously, it's not me. Yeah, they have a obviously, mental- dude, it's either I- autism or a personality disorder. Yeah, I- and then you realize it's ninety percent of people around you, and you're like, fuck, it might be me. No, <laughs> no way. It's not you, yeah. dude. No, you're normal. I think it's the other people. I think it's good yeah. to just give people like bipolar diagnoses. Yes, you're bipolar. Like, that's another you're one. Fucking yeah, nuts. Up, dude. Yep. And it's all the people that don't talk about it on stage yes. are the ones who are truly yeah, and are just like you, you, you. And you're like Ill. Well, you. No, you. you should be talking about this. <laughs> What's up with therapy? I'm like, go. <laughs> you should go. You should go. Yeah, I am. Um, you're from like Long Island, though, right? You can't yep. say Long Island without saying Long Island. Yeah, you got to say Long Island, Long- actually. <laughs> yeah, it's a rite of passage. Yeah. Yeah. Did you um? Did you like growing up there? Were you? I did actually. I did. Is I it, um, like suburban. Yes. Yeah, suburban, and it was uh. It was a very cozy, like, you know, it's it's like a bubble. So yeah. you don't really know anything outside of it. They do a very good job. It's like a Google campus. So like you never have to leave. And you're like, oh, okay. They're like, we got everything here. We got beaches. We got Yeah. We yeah. got like we're kinda close to the city. We got, you know, gyms everywhere. There's space. And then you leave and everyone's like, we fucking hate you. And you're like, what? Mm. Yeah. People yeah, hate, ex- which I get. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't g- understand until I started doing comedy why people hate Long Island. Oh, because well, okay. have you ever noticed the most rowdy, obnoxious? Yeah, for sure. You're like, e- it's either Jersey or Long Island. Yeah. Every time there's a lunatic in the audience. I'm like, are you from Long Island? They're like, you bet. I'm yeah, like, yeah, oh. yeah. 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 <laughs> But then yeah. Long Island hates you when you leave, too. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're like, you're a traitor. Yes. And absolutely. you're going to hate us. Yeah. You're yep. going to get. You're gonna and get, they know because yeah. it's like a cult. Yeah. It's like a cult. Oh, Whoa. I never thought about that. Long Island is a cult. Yeah. Is it they're like diverse? as soon as you leave, they're like, <laughs> um, where I grew up, it was. That's something I'm proud of. It what? was diverse. But like, like my mom put me in a public. My mom and dad put me in a public school. I, like, I always say like my mom only because my dad <laughs> didn't make do. <laughs> didn't make any of the decisions so i'll be like i'm going to my mom's house for the holidays oh my dad will be there too um yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. uh who ruled the house mom or dad my dad ruled the house okay. but my mom was home all the time got it but okay. like yeah someone rules the house someone yeah yeah it depends on who's home but who were you afraid of to get in trouble oh with? my dad oh yeah mine was my mom oh, really oh, oh yeah did your dad work yeah well huh. after like uh it was like on and off on and off. It was like at first, yes, and we had like great money, and then it went belly up. And then we had no money. Um, Dude, though, that, I feel like I've talked to a couple people like that. Yeah. That have had, like, went to the top and then came, yeah, and came like crashing yeah. down. Yeah. Dude, that's an interesting. My sister, I'll always blame her. I'll always be envious of her because she had three years longer than me. Uh, wow. She's three years older. So yeah. I'm always like, you had three years more of the luxury lifestyle. Oh, man. <laughs> and how much. So would you, how like rich were you? Do you think you were like? Yeah, I think like back in, like, I think they both had six figure income. Oh, hot damn. So back then it was like, whoa, set. That was And set. then what happened is my mom took a less job because she was like, you know what? Maybe I should see my kids. And then my dad was like, great. I lost my job. So it was like, 
fo, 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 oh, fo. yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Yeah. It went down fast. So everything. What, what age were you? Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. My mom did a damn good job hiding it from us. Yeah. Damn good. I didn't realize we were like house poor until I was like probably a junior or senior in college. Oh, crazy. Yeah. yeah. You just thought you were how so like you would ask for money and they would like yeah. give you money. And yeah. And yep. They were like yeah. just not eating that week. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Not paying bills. No. Yeah. Taking out more credit cards. Oh, my God. I used to say this on stage. Like I used to think we were so rich because I would open like a computer drawer and there'd be like stacks of credit cards. And I'd be like, <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> and now I'm like debt like as just <laughs> debt yeah. as if yeah. it's like dollar bills oh yeah i was like yeah killing it his mom in the cartel <laughs> yeah and I, I don't know if you guys know this but i'm royalty <laughs> yeah, yeah that's crazy yeah exactly um i had like one of my friends her dad like uh he had a marriage before they grew up dirt poor uh-huh. and then um he, the second marriage like the his wife like encourage him to like pursue his dream yeah but and before he was just like a salesman yeah and so the second marriage he actually became like an author oh damn and then they became like, like a good, obviously a successful one multi multi-millionaire Get like the hell. what did he write do you know he writes like mystery novels his oh. name's uh, i shouldn't say it. oh okay okay I'll yeah say, that's true. i'll say like uh, whatever yeah yeah, but, yeah. Um, you guys were giving but yeah info. But, yeah but is his, it dean kunz okay yeah, no, no, um no. but like the the other siblings from the first marriage they do not even speak to the dude you know who she has a picture with my friend she has a picture with um who uh muhammad ali yeah. the fighter yeah <laughs> wait <laughs> what's this Oh, he was, he had, there's like a picture of him holding her. That's how wealthy they were. Oh, got they it. Like got friends it. I was like, what? Like what? Celebrities. This, I thought this was like uh, Muhammad Ali. <laughs> like Muhammad we're doing charades. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is like only yeah. if you, um, yeah. no, you know, this, know exactly yeah. what I'm talking yeah. about. Um, so they, Muhammad Ali was holding who as friend, a baby. Oh, damn. As a baby. And then they're just like extremely wealthy. Wow. And I don't know. I don't know what's better, to be honest. I feel like if you grow up kind of poor, I don't know. It yeah, just yeah. like makes you if you grow up rich, you have to have something that breaks you yes. in order to have character. Yes. And I don't know Absolutely. how you get that. Because I had there's a few uh Cause we, you live comics in, in the oh, community no, that were rich, <laughs> stayed rich, still rich, and you can tell. It's like they just don't have that like that like grit or chip on their shoulder which like i think something. i'm not and i'm not saying they don't deserve it but i'm just you get you see yeah, it, you know yeah i think i don't know which one's something I think you yeah you just have to either you have to get bullied or yes. you have to something or someone be a waitress some, for a while that be a, you'll get humbled real industry. fast dude i yeah i worked at a brewery this summer and i'm like this this hurts me so i i was curious i did you have to like go to tables and take their order yeah oh. yeah and well, at a brewery they're like Egh. but like at the same time i'm glad i mean i i've worked in the service inter- industry before but mm-hmm. like in like college and like high school like right. things like that but um it's just it's crazy the whole tipping thing oh, now because yeah. it's like you tip wherever you go no right. matter what right yeah it's like i just feel like if someone isn't coming to your table right what are you or I know. like doing a service? Like I know. You said you're a dog walker. Yeah. I get that. I know. You're they don't tip though, but I I well one of them does. And it I don't expect that for some reason. Do they pay Which you is, directly? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's that's like cash straight to hand. Yeah. You if the IRS is watching, I don't do dog walking at all. Actually. No, this is a joke. <laughs> this is a fun this I is got a comedy nothing. I actually have no money i uh <laughs> according to yeah. the irs i make 200 dollars a year okay um no uh they yeah i don't expect them to i know like when i go to this burrito place once a week and it's like i don't sit down i don't do i call it in i walk up i take it and they flip that ipad around and it's like would you like to leave and i've noticed i used to hit 20 percent always <laughs> I noticed their 20% is actually like a 50% tip. So I was like, 
wait a second. Like the math is wrong. No, they're tricking you, dude. You're, they're and fucking. I'll still, no matter what, I've been a server for so long. I'll always leave a tip, even if I'm like, this shit don't make no sense. No, you know what I've been doing? <laughs> so bad. I so if it's like that where they're not like actually serving yeah. me, I'll leave a fifty cent tip where <laughs> I'm like, yeah, here's something. But like you're not doing you're I'm paying for like what you're giving me. You if know, someone left me 50 cents. I would throw it at them. <laughs> I, I get, know. I get know both sides. Yes. Yes. Like I'm paying. No, it's actually like this tip should go to the chef. Yeah, because it's like, like they didn't they did the work. They did the work. Yeah. You're just putting it together. But yeah. that's you're not doing anything outside. your I know. job. I know it started with coffee. Oh, yeah. And That's that who started the whole thing. It was baristas. like, well, if you tip the baristas, you better be tipping. It, honestly, it was. Yeah. That was the domino I remember when effect. that first started. And I, and I, I feel like, and maybe it's because Long Island is full of cheap people and it's only Starbucks, but it never happened there. And then I came here and the baristas, I mean, they were like, we make hearts on your coffee. You better fucking give it. And I'm like, I didn't ask for a heart. I don't care. Yeah, I don't if care. If you fucking throw the milk in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, the the place that I go to, I just have them like like it's not even a, a made coffee. It's like a it's drip. just like you just pour it. I'm like, you do not deserve yeah, a tip. I know. And I know. I and okay, this so is this, gonna if you put oh, <sighs> but this I is gonna cause pressure. a war. If I feel you, if this pressure. goes out on Instagram, people, hey, yeah, you, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these people, they're fucking, they have no legs, no eyes, and they have <laughs> chlamydia. Like they're like, and you're like, what? what? Yeah, you're just making up. Yeah, yeah, these people diseases. need the, Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. have no idea what their life is. <laughs> yeah, like, seriously, they could fully be a trust fund kid just doing this for fun and Very just true. playing, v- especially in Brooklyn. Yeah. Um, and, and this, I used to be this person. I'm not going to lie. I think Brooklyn has fostered this server. That's like, we hate that you're here. Oh my God. I'm like, what I the fuck are you, you doing here? Yeah, what the fuck are and you you're doing? like, what? And I've done it. I've done it. I've been there cause I hated my job and I hated my life. And so I'm like, here's your seat. But <laughs> then it's like, but if you don't give 25%, they're like, scumbag and you're like you didn't even make eye contact with me yeah yeah i mean i've done it where i'll be like kind i won't be like mean or unmean when i see people but then it's like do you know what you want no okay and i leave and i come back and do you know what you want no okay i leave and then they like i come back and they're like uh we've been waiting (laughs) we've been fucking waiting that being said are you retarded like that (laughs) being said the customers out here, they are impossible, impossible. And it's always, and the customers that are like that are the ones that never worked in the service industry. Because oh, yeah. they're like, hello. <laughs> yeah, we and were And you're ready. like sweating, you're running table to table. And they're like, I need ketchup. And you're like, okay. Like they're just, yeah. they're out of their minds. But yeah, that's so true. Do you need anything? No. Do you need anything? No. Um, hello. And yeah. you're like, I, I was just here. Yeah, dude, if you don't have to, like, interact or, like, serve people with those type of in- interactions, yeah. like, yeah. why do you deserve a- the same amount of tip I know. that someone else? And honestly, everything's getting so expensive these days that it's you go out for, like, a sandwich yeah. and it's the same amount of money <laughs> yeah. as sitting down at a, t- yes. at a table yeah. getting served. Yeah. That being said, what if you pick up, like, a massive order of food to go? Oh, I mean, I think I hundred always, plus dollars. I always tip to go. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. That's okay. That's fine. <laughs> that makes. I know that doesn't really make sense. But, but like, if it's like a I big, feel like, yeah. And they put all the stuff that I want yeah, in there. Yeah. And yeah. They like ask for like yes. extra sauce. Yeah. And I'm like, that's if I ask for anything, tip deserves a tip. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's thirty dollars. Yeah, right, right there. <laughs> yes. But yeah. Uh, and all the DoorDash people, they're making so much. Oh, I know. Fucking money. I know. I, mean, I, I often know. I often give them cash because I'm like, I swear that's not going to them. I don't know. Well, I have no idea who's making all that money because you look at the. No, it's a breakdown. They're it's like a breakdown. It's like four dollars here. Three dollars. They're, like, do- they're, they're like they're like four DoorDash maintenance for DoorDash health insurance for DoorDash. And you're like, what the hell am I paying for right now? Can and DoorDash so- not pay this shit? Like, the, I know the company should. I know. God, I hate these people. 
it's too expensive. That being said, would you like to order some Chinese food? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Every time, man. I haven't had Chinese food in so long. I had a uh, sushi the other day. What was it? Sushi was good. What they kind were of sushi? Fast. <laughs> I had white tuna. Yum. Spicy tuna. Always good. And salmon mango. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So um okay, this is a question that I wanted to ask you. Let's so in in terms of El Diablo, sometimes I just ask um introspective oh type God. of questions like um okay, so which slur is your favorite? <laughs> no, I'm, just kidding, I'm kidding. But um I was ready. <laughs> 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 um so okay, so What's a backhanded uh, compliment Ooh. that people give you a lot I or like repeatedly? I, I did not expect you to be funny. Oh, I thought you were saying that to me. No, like, no, no, <laughs> no. Yeah, dude, that's what they Every, almost I'd say kidding? once a night. People come up to I did not expect you to be Do funny. Do comics say that? Uh, Out of town. Yep. Oh you don't get that? no oh i get that at least once a night that's crazy usually dudes that come up to me after and they're like dude i did not i'm so like expect you to be funny that's like, crazy <laughs> did you ever have you ever said why no i, I, I i'm, I'm like, curious because i there's nothing i mean i don't know i think most people when i think of like i did not expect you to be funny i think of like those type of like LA comics that look like a blow up doll. <laughs> yes. You yes. Know? Yeah. And you're like, like uh, how the hell? Cause it's true. Like it goes right back to like, if you're rich, you have an, it's like, if you look like a blow up doll, it's like, what is funny to you? Right. What is funny about you? Yeah. And yeah. I don't think you look like that. I know. So. I know. It's definitely, it's like, yeah, I'm a good look, but it's not like a blow up doll. Perfect. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I get it. I can't believe you don't get that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, yes. No, no, no. But I mean, I get like other things. Like, Wait, what's one of yours that you get all often? Um, People usually ask me if I'm high and that hurts my feelings. <laughs> They're like, are you high? Right. Like me when I'm like, I feel like I'm being like myself and like I'm really, you know, getting you're just like killing you're it like, in a the conversation. most animated I've ever been in my life. And they're like, are you stoned? Are you on drugs? <laughs> And okay, heroin. <laughs> yeah, it's com. It's mostly comics, but it will be like audience members sometimes. They're like the one time. Yeah, people will be like, "Dude, how high are you right now?" And I'm like, "Not at all. Oh. I'm sober." And, and it makes me feel like insecure about. I know my personality. Yeah, I'm like, is it? Do I seem fucked up? No, I think you're chill. And so, especially in New York. Like when I came in, I was like, I'm so sorry about like changing time. You're like, I really don't care. And I was like, <laughs> how do you live like that? Like, I'm like, I would love that. <laughs> like I that. would love to that. be that way to be like, yeah, whatever. No problem. I got nothing going. On. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? Why? I should have ruined your entire <laughs> day. I should have gotten here you three should, hours late. Yeah. <laughs> should not forgive me for this. Yeah. Um, who else is like that? That's very chill. Recently, I was talking to him. I forgot who it is. It'll come to me. Anyway, I don't know. I think sometimes people misinterpret also like me being chill for like being mean. Oh, like last night I went to the gutter with Sarah Bergmark mm -hmm. and I was showing the I, my ID <laughs> to what? <laughs> to Sorry, the guy. I'm, I'm excited to hear it. <laughs> to the you know bouncer guy yeah. and i i'm trying to find my id in my little like purse thing mm -hmm. and i was like oh, i can't find it and he has like a flashlight that he showed he shined on sarah and i was like oh can you shine your flight <laughs> flashlight over here he's like not when you don't not when you say it like that oh, and i damn. was like okay and so then i was like fuck fine <laughs> so i just like I was like, I'm not saying please to you. You fucking, fucking yeah. I'm like, here, check all these. And I got it. But I was like, Sarah was like, I feel like people think you're being mean when you're not. Damn. So she thought and was like, yeah. yeah. And I was like, I wasn't. <laughs> I also thought I was like, fuck you, stupid man. You're trying to be like, uh, and say, please. Yeah, seriously. So is that what he was insinuating? Which I, I get it. Like, please think you go a long way. But it's like, it's not like you're like, ah, hello light over yeah, here it's like within the same tone like, hey, type you know the yeah yeah over here? it's like a question you can't yeah. ask a fucking qu it's not like oh my god 
I know. But um, <laughs> it's like that. And then yeah, what else? But that was a backhanded compliment. Like, um, <laughs> one time. I mean, this isn't something I get all the time. But one time, um, a comic was like a female comic was like, "Oh, what'd you do today?" And I said I got a haircut. And they're like, "Oh, do you like it?" And I was <laughs> like. I was like, yeah, I like it. And they're like, oh, that's good for you. Good for you. And I'm like, are we fighting? What the fuck? What? Follow up question (laughs) I've ever heard. Insanely. That's wild. Dude, comics can be so brutal. You you a fan of this cut? Yeah, yeah, (laughs) yeah. You're going to keep it? Yeah. It was like a trim. Like, it wasn't. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, that's really funny. It wasn't even like a big, <laughs> yeah. like a pixie cut. It was like barely an inch. Like, so you're going to go with this? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. See, that's what I'm saying. When you say, you're like, you must not be well. Yeah, no. You Someone says that, you're like, you must not be well. No, you're pissed. She's She got, she yeah. had to be pissed at something. Else. Yeah. I, um. <laughs> what'd she say do you like it do you like it or sometimes when people um like call me out for not paying attention or like just zoning out they're like i think it's it falls under the like are you on drugs stop type right. of thing and i'm like no i'm just spacey right like, i space out right i lose focus you're boring actually and, and that's like, why i'm not paying attention yeah, to you. yeah <laughs> dude exactly i mean i often i'll catch myself someone's talking to me and it'll be a minute and I'll be like, F- I haven't heard a word they've said. Like, cause I'm thinking not about a something, word. not a, g- or you hear I got their not- name and you're like, fuck, where did it go? <laughs> and where oh, did that's, it and that's something go? that I'm like, this is just rude of me to not remember names. And I just, I hate it. I hate asking someone's names. I often get, we've met before and I'm like, Dude, and I and so recently I start just acting like I know yep. everybody. Yep. And now I'm getting the like, I've never met you before. Right. And I'm like, right. all right, well, can you I just- know I did that too. And I know because you get bit in the ass for not remembering someone. But then if you uh, if you don't introduce yourself, then you look like a bitch. Because I've been there. I've been like a very new comic and some like a veteran comes up to me and says hello. And I'm like, wow, that was really nice. That made me feel yeah. very special. Like and just at ease. And so... <laughs> I know I don't want anyone to feel uncomfortable, but I also don't want someone to feel like they're a piece of shit when I'm like, oh, my God. Hi, I'm Rachel. And they're like, we hung out last night. And I'm like, yeah, but it's like, how are you supposed to remember it? I know it's impossible. I know. I also think like like I don't know if this is in my head or if it's just because I'm sensitive, but I feel like <laughs> <laughs> I feel like guy like male comedians like i feel like they shit on us Mm -hmm. in groups Mm -hmm. more than they shit on each other um okay so so male comedians get together and they're like hanging out and they're just like talking back and forth yeah and then like i come in the conversation they're like oh why did you why did you say it like that why did you put your bag there got it yeah yeah yeah. why are you asking (laughs) why can't i just be my fucking self I've talked about this with Lizzie before. It's, it's like, like poke, 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 yeah, yeah, poke, no, poke. they or <laughs> my favorite. Lizzie made me laugh so hard with it. She says like, oh, what did they? It's like they don't see us attractive at all, no matter what. So they'll be like, ew, dude, gross. Like, you know, like no matter what we do, they're like fucking gross because they see us as like little sisters. But um, I I've noticed I I less that and maybe because I love when people roast me or like make fun of me. But I notice when I fire back, they're like, whoa, this always hey. happens every time. Keep your. Oh, oh is this lighting? Oh, yeah. Brilliance. Brilliance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wondering what Dude, this was. I thought it was pretty smart, too. Brilliance. When I when Joe Nunnick was on the pod, he made fun of me for. I mean, it's definitely it sm- like smart. It, I mean, this this part is not good how it like interrupts, but oh, and now we're back. OK, oh, yeah. Okay. Um, no, but I've noticed when I fire back, they're like, whoa, dude, whoa. That, yeah. and <laughs> you feel insane. You're like, did I take it too far? No, Because you just called me like a cum guzzling bitch. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> all right, asshole. <laughs> and they're like, oh, and I'm like, geez, I guess. <laughs> yeah. 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 They're like, holy shit, Rachel. <laughs> we were just hanging out. 
exactly and you're like huh? what yeah I, and i'm I'm, I'm i'm insecure enough to be like oh maybe i did take it too far no, but then you go home later and you're like no now i've been holding my ground i'm like what i said yeah wasn't i do too fucking weird yeah I and do then too. when they do weird things yeah i call them out yeah and they feel all insecure oh. and i'm like yeah fuck it's you very sensitive <laughs> very like, sensitive dude yeah the I mean, there's a saying is such like an anxiety. I know it's like, <laughs> did like I make you mad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you being a cunt? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. And all of us are just like over. We're, we're strung out. Half <laughs> yeah. of us are very violently hungover. The other half have a personality disorder. Yeah. yeah. Everyone is just <laughs> gripping for life. Yeah. On, yeah. And trying to be funny, and yep. then also trying to like compete someone was talking the other day about how like they hate when there's like a comics hang outside of a show and someone keeps trying new bits and it's like fucking stop working for a second and just be a human yeah i mean <laughs> there's a difference between doing bits and like just like being funny yes. and yeah. like laughing at things joking yeah. around yes. yeah it's so weird yeah. dude I, one time i think i've said this before on the pod a couple times oops sorry i'm just a fucking record of repeats she's on drugs i'm on drugs that's why she's high out of her mind about three topics and that's what this podcast you should say (laughs) when someone's like i are you high you'll be like no one time when i was young i got dropped on my head (laughs) and now i don't think totally straight thanks a lot for bringing that up (laughs) yeah that's uh the brooklyn response that's how you respond if you're from Brooklyn. Um, it's trauma. Everyone, everyone has a fucking yep. excuse of why, how. Yep. Honestly, I'm really over it. And honestly, mm-hmm. everyone needs to. Okay, this sounds really bad, but I feel like <laughs> a lot of people are coming out as gay and they're not gay. Mm. Well, they're not coming out as gay. They're coming out as like maybe a little queer. Like Oh, that's, yeah. That's oh, how they're yeah. wording it too. Maybe a little queer. I'm like, dude. <laughs> Wait, what's that not. acronym? <laughs> MLQ. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little queer. <laughs> That's it's, it's like, true. Who are you? I know. Trying to like be friends with. I love when uh just be if they can't be friends with. I have with a friend you. that like called me out and I uh, listen. I'm <laughs> one of those people <laughs> that like I I probably am not sensitive enough to this, but it is who I am and I can't hide it and I'm sure I'll get hate, but like I have a friend who's dated guys only and then like i make like a a joke about legging girls and she's like hey that's about me and i was like what like i just it's like everyone is like well maybe so don't make fun of it and i'm like okay so you like because girls. he's like, straight because no because straight? yeah or like they they the- have considered dabbling with women like it's oh. a girl and they and it's like i don't know i i feel like trying to think of like if i reverse the rules like well, yeah make fun of me liking stupid men people like over yeah they like overcompensate or, or they just, look like, into so your sensitive. material yeah, too and it's much like, oh, it's like this isn't about yeah. you it's yeah. about like a lot of people yes who keep on doing this just to be likable right and right it's weird i know it's uh it's way i hope it's dying out i mean it all just it would be like Moses. Well, like well, Moses, they'll be the very sensitive and then the very not. And then someone had a great bit last night about how, um, uh, what's his name? I'll, I'll, I'll add his name at this point. Okay, you to go across go. the screen. Um, he had a bit about how Gen Z is going to be like the worst, uh, grandparents <laughs> ever. Cause they're going to be like, <laughs> Fuck, I forgot the bit. Damn it. But they're going <laughs> to be it like... Is it Scopo? No. Okay, because Scopo is a great bit about this, about Gen Z. Yeah, they're yeah. going to be like, you're not... Uh, oh, oh, he was like... He's like, you think you have it hard? Like, back in my day, I had to fart in a cake on OnlyFans <laughs> for $25. <laughs> yeah. And it's like... <laughs> That's right. really funny. That's so yeah. funny. Yeah. Yep. I think his name was like Adam or Nick or something. <laughs> Anyways, th- no one watches this podcast. It's Elle's <laughs> best friend, but she doesn't remember their yeah, name. Yeah, I just don't remember them. <laughs> We're actually best friends. <laughs> um, but yeah, I had a point to... Every time um, I re- I say someone's joke, like when I first started, I'm I like, I'm going to get people's I'm jokes. gonna get this like perfectly. And within three words, I'm like, this is going to be horrendous. Dude, how do people remember other people's jokes? I, I mean, I can't. it's like if I hear it enough, I mean, especially when I was like, binge listening to things like when i was younger i probably could but now 
no it's only like certain comics that like i if there's one joke i absolutely adore i'll like know it yeah yeah somewhat yeah just or there's from, just like, like certain it. comics that i love to watch there's not many i love Do i you like, like any female comics oh kirsten i love watching her on yeah, stage yeah she's great um levin's very fun to watch on stage just to see how she like uses her lunatic brain of information to connect with people um Let's see here. Like any big boys, like um, I I like Michelle Wolf honestly. Oh my god, she's incredible! She's great. What she's, a writer! I think she's like what a writer. She's perfect. She's perfect at like staying right down the middle. She uh, th- that's a bit I've thought of often. How great it is about how every time there's like a serial killer man, they're always like you. They uh, interview the neighbors and they're like, we never expected this. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it keeps happening. She's like, yeah. So that's it don't <laughs> she's like don't assume it's the guy that's like an introvert it's the neighbor who's like every day's better than the last she's like <laughs> check his basement yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the guy yeah um but yeah she's outstanding daniel tosh has a oh i'm sorry i haven't heard any of that. his oh no he's like i don't think he does stand up anymore oh no he's torn he he is yeah um uh, mark uh whatever the fuck his name Norman? is no <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I'll think of his last name. He's another comment, but he said that he saw him and he started a podcast. Oh yeah, I saw yeah. he started a podcast. Yeah, but he's tours like very Tosh. secretly. Yeah, I, yeah. I feel like he got a lot of hate or something. I mean, but yeah, but like, oh, someone told me that he also has. And like who one knows of the if this people. is true? What crippling uh, anxiety around stage? Oh, it has to be because he was too good. He, I mean, like he is that's too good. wild because he's yeah, that's wild. Oh, yeah, that was someone I listened to, and also his over. comedy is such like a over. punching bag over type and of, over. Yeah. yeah, dude, he's so that's why I thought funny. he stopped because he just knew people wouldn't accept him anymore, or yeah, like can't try and cancel him. So he's like, I'll just cancel myself. <laughs> um, he has a bit about like people finding his parents' house <laughs> and like going to like. Does he live here? Yeah, <laughs> and they're like, yeah, and they're like, hee hee, and they run away. <laughs> I'm like, yo, that was that's, that's wild. Yeah. Have you gotten any like crazy threats online? Um, I threats or n- just like there's one. It's funny. I got a DM very recently that is the first one that truly made me feel uneasy. Eee. It was like. Why haven't you answered me? I haven't asked for much. And then like a slew of like compliments slash when I like it's angry and you're yeah. like, yikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the first one I was like, oof. Yeah, scary. Um, I've restricted some just because it's like. I restrict a lot. Yeah. I restrict a lot. Yeah. Um, When I first started out, there was this guy. Um, He was actually friend. He used to be friends with one of my best friends from home okay and they met him in college okay and he's fully a like schizophrenic oh but he was taking medication at the time and he's like a norm well like you know like a normal person yeah. on yeah medication right. off of it he's completely right. insane and somehow he found my comedy through my friend and he would send me paragraphs and paragraphs it's of like absolute nonsense and my friend said he's been off his like medication for yeah. like years and years. And and then he started sending me stuff like I've contacted Dave Ch- Chappelle and told him to stop stealing your jokes. <laughs> and he said that he keeps on that like all these like famous comedians are stealing my material and he's like harassing them for me. Yikes. And I was like, dude, please, please stop. stop. Did you answer him? Well, I said, please stop. I was like, do not stop like reaching out to these I people. I never thought they about have it, that. Um, stolen anything. And then he just like wouldn't stop. And I had to block him. And then he recently he found my podcast and I yeah. blocked him again because he kept on but they sending. come back. They keep they they like cockroaches. Come. They'll find another way. That's why restriction is great. Because it's like, I don't I mean, I'm sure you they feel like you're out. not. Well, the, it's it's a perfect way because they, like if they comment, no one sees it. Mm-hmm. Do you know that? If they come, on right, your right, right. Post, no one sees it, and it's like they don't think they're being restricted. And then I, I, I'm saying this and like then I, if you, well, I restrict even people where I don't want them to see my message or see that I saw that I opened their DM. Oh, yeah, yeah, all so, the time. 
I love that. Yeah. Wait, if someone DMs you and you don't hit accept, they don't know that you saw it, right? Exactly. Okay, thank God. <laughs> Dude. I was like, there's a lot of people on Reddit. There's right a now. couple. Um, there, was the, there was even this guy, he said uh, that he wants to like wear my skin okay and i was like all right yeah i could definitely see you getting some looney tunes oh did i tell you people yeah people are also calling me like trans now on my oh yeah yeah, yeah on youtube <laughs> the least trans girl Dude, it's so crazy man oh man trans hate we gotta stop it <laughs> that was so funny it's when you said that in now. The bar. <laughs> yeah. i it's get it now what they're going uh, through yeah. <laughs> it's suddenly important no um. know, it's you know that's a joke, but um, <laughs> like, oh, don't don't please. We yeah. yeah, everyone deserves love and peace. Don't um, beat me up. Um, but uh, but what else? Okay, this is good. Another question. El Diablo. Yeah, let's let's see. I have a lot of questions over here. Um, yeah, I'm loving this. Did these, you get like stoned one night and write these? Well, these are like El Diablo questions, like all the I like introspective. It. Okay. Um, how would you like what's the perfect way to kill yourself Ooh, thought about it <laughs> okay. um uh well i've thought about when i was really down in the dump it was something easy although i i was like there is a consistent month of jumping in front of a train that was oh, consistent okay. consistent and then i told my best friend and she was like that is the most selfish thing you're gonna delay everyone's commute and yeah. <laughs> i was like People that's gonna, true yeah. and i don't want to do that and i don't want to be like splayed all over the pages well it's that but then it's all i i know a guy that did that mm -hmm. and it honestly pissed me off because now whenever i see a train i think of him jumping in front of and that's it. awful and i'm like god Damn it. Could you have <laughs> hit dog? Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could yeah. you like have gotten run over by yeah. a donkey or something? There's, that there's I also never like, will. no, I know it would kill me, but there's always that like, and if it didn't, oh God. Ugh. Like you're just a vegetable. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> that's fucking that's, awful. That's, Waking up and being like, that was a failure. That's the ultimate punishment. I thought, I, I, I thought about like, cause I, I, I use the E and the G train a lot. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, obviously the E because the G train is always running like at Too half slow. speed. Yeah. You jump and then it's like, oh, uh, oh time to kill. Painful. <laughs> yeah, that would be awful. Um, I think the would perfect you rather way. like freeze to death or. Be, like, oh, I've thought about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, not necessarily like freeze to death or like like burn get burned to death. to death but like since our climate is changing and i'm not really sure like climate change is just happening yeah. and it's like, just like two the degrees. idea of us like becoming climate change expert change. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah suddenly yeah. like activist um well not even at well i'm like isn't it like fu it's fucking freezing outside right and now then in, yeah yep. and then in the summer it's fucking hot yeah so like eventually it's just going to be either on fire right or it's going to be freezing yes I don't know. I think I like the freezing better. Oh. If we have heat, but heat without oh, air conditioning, uh -huh. it's awful. Although I hate the cold and it makes me depressed and angry, but the heat in this city it is disgusting. 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 Cold's better for comedy, too. Yeah, so I think it has to be cold, right? It has right? to be cold. Or like drown? Would you like to drown? Mm. No, that okay. sounds awful. <laughs> okay, that sounds truly awful. No, yeah, I think I would do um, pills. Oh, that sounds nice. Sounds like a go sleepy sleepy and not wake up. Yeah, yeah. Just that's phew. a good idea. Yeah, that seems. Like, I don't want a crime scene like a huge gunshot wound or someone to find me like hanging. That sounds very traumatic. Mm. But like just someone that's like, oh, she's asleep. And then she's like, and then they're like, oh, God. I mean, it's going to be traumatic no matter what for some people. If for I some people, <laughs> you have to just make it the right people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Just your husband. Yeah, exactly. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's, I think, the best, the most perfect way to go. How long have you guys been married so far? Seven. Seven years? Mm -hmm. When did you guys get married? How old were you? 27. Oh, that's like a normal age. It doesn't feel that way. It feels like I was a goddamn child bride. <laughs> in new york you were i seriously but long island it was like all right grandma yeah yeah let's yeah. get it going yeah, yeah. but like when i lived around here everyone's like all right 
yeah well, okay like in like, mormon like yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah yeah that's just like the suburb life like all my now all my best friends have kids have kids mm-hmm. or is like currently pregnant do you ever get like if things aren't going well in your life or like comedy sucks or something you see them and you're like why didn't i do that um ever honestly no because i think without comedy i was so unfulfilled yes that i was just extremely depressed yep and same. i would have just been like i i don't know it's like it's like getting a pet it's like great and it's cute yep but then it it only distracts you for so long yep and then it's a lot of work and then it's a lot of work yep and honestly that's why i want to play like house with my niece i'll be yeah. like i do it for a night i do for yeah, yeah. a night or yeah. like a couple hours yeah. or walk something. around and pretend to be a mom yeah as long as like the real mom's there i'm fine i don't want to be <laughs> the I training wheels are there i don't even want to be alone with the kids oh, really i'm like when i can be like okay technically it's yours <laughs> yeah you're like uh ah, they're obviously crying a lot so, yeah, yeah yeah dude i watched my niece with my mom um for one night not even a full 24 hours and it was the hardest less than 24 hours of my life recently wow. yeah. how old is she uh, she just turned, she's a little over one now, but she, uh, then I think, did she turn one yet? She was crying. I think, yeah, she time. was after one and y- it's at night. Like they were like, cause the whole thing about we have her sleep with us, da, 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 da. And it was like, I'm always like, God, that seems so risky. I don't get it. And then this bitch wouldn't shut the hell up. You know, wah, wah. It's like, we put her in the crib and she acted like. We set her on fire. And so I was like, <laughs> put her in the bed. I don't yes. care if I don't sleep. Put her in the bed. Put on, because uh, my sister's like, if you put her in the bed and put, play Sade, she'll go to sleep. And I'm like, I hate Sade. I hate Which the singer. Sade? The singer? What do you mean? Do you know the singer? I don't think so. What song? Oh, you don't need to know her. Okay. That, again, another one that's going to yeah. cause a rut. She's, <laughs> I hate her music. Hate it. Sorry, guys. And... Within like minutes, I was like, put her in the bed, yeah. put Shanae on. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. care. Yeah. Yeah. And let her go to sleep. Oh. Dude, it's so creepy how kids hate the night. I'm like, what are you, what do you know? Are do you, you remember hating the night? Ghosts. Yeah. But I, I hated the night because I was afraid of the devil. Like, I was. Really? Yeah. Because, well, because I grew up like religious and so. Like super religious. Well, re- re- yeah. I mean, my mom was very like, the devil's going to kill you. And I'm like. Oh, ah. my God. Really? Dude. Yeah. Yikes. And so like, if. Any and then I always thought of like, or I saw so I saw uh, the ring that fucked me up for a while, and I was like, the devil girl is gonna fuck. The first and last scary movie I ever watched was Poltergeist. I've never seen that. Is Don't it need scary. To. Yes. What's it about? Is it devils? Like I they can't get, do devils they get, or like no, possessed. It's not, well, is it so scary? It's pos- uh, they get like sucked into another world. Is it mm-hmm. through the TV? Oh God. So every time the TV in my, if I ever see a TV go to that black and white, like, yeah, bye. freaks me the hell out. I feel like these TVs don't anymore. Like the flat screen. I know. Well, cause we don't, it's not like it's all streaming now. Oh, right. So right. it's like, if it's so cable, devils can't get though. through this one. <laughs> <laughs> if you have Netflix, the devil won't get you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's so insane. Wait, so you were afraid of the devil. I was afraid of the devil. I was afraid of nightmares. I got nightmares like every night. Yeah. Okay. Dude, I've been thinking about you recently because you told me, well, it was it Wellbutrin? No. Yeah. You try to get away from nightmares because of Wellbutrin. Uh, because of Lexapro. Lexapro was giving you nightmares. No, no, no. Anxiety was giving me like. Okay, got it. Nightmares and yeah. then. Uh, Wellbutrin kept you up. Yeah, and then the I took the Lexapro and it gave me insomnia. <sighs> because uh, Wellbutrin has been making my dreams like crazy crazy detailed cra- like i wake up and i'm disoriented they're not knock on wood scary but they're just it's a like, lot yeah they're a lot yep. yeah i've i've had a dream like that when you wake up and you're all like what the what the <laughs> fuck's going on in my mind and then like the whole day seems fake you're like yeah mm, yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is this and truman show like mm, everything's fake yeah yeah Dude, I babysat a kid once, and um, stop me if I told you the story already, but I babysat a kid once, and then I put him to bed, and then he starts, like, screaming, and I go upstairs, and I'm like, what's wrong? And he's like, 
uh, he, the little boy. He, no. <laughs> the little boy. Like, no. He's watching me in my sleep. He's not going away. He's just sitting at the end of my bed. Absolutely he's just not. My chest sleep. is tight right now. And I was like, bro, absolutely not. I'm getting I was paid like, $15 an hour. You better stop talking right now. Yeah. Like I would lose my mind. Yeah. How old were you? Uh, I was in high school. Oh, no. Yeah, absolutely. You're oh. like... If someone told me that now, I'd be like, we're leaving. Yeah. 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 You're like a, yeah. a lawyer to a, a, <laughs> your client that's like self-incriminating yeah, yourself. Yeah. You're Just like, stop, 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 yeah, stop, yeah. stop, I stop. can't. <laughs> what did you do? Um, well, because he was like, we have to leave the lights on because when you turn the lights off, the boy comes back and he sits on my bed. And so I called the parents. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you call the parents. You're like, so Timmy is saying about that. And they're like okay yeah they're like yeah he just it's, it's just like a, his imaginary yeah. friend i'm like dude no I let me tell you he was pretty scared <laughs> i'm pretty scared <laughs> i'm pretty scared i was like i don't know i don't know how to like help him and yeah he's scared and he won't go to bed and they're like oh, okay we'll come home soon you can leave in like 20 minutes and we'll <laughs> oh and so I it's made so them come funny home. i mean high school is a decent age but were you ever like in middle school and babysat and it's just like i look back at that now i'm like they just had kids looking after kids yeah for pennies so funny like if yeah. anything went wrong there would be no uh, there would be no help. like it's like you got a pizza yeah remember babysitting that was great you got pizza and That's like you were like in charge you're like you need to go to bed meanwhile you're two years older than that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> But it was just, I mean, I feel like that's more of a testament to, like, how bad the parents just, like, wanted oh, yeah. to. Get the hell out of their like life. two hours. Yeah. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. But then this again, I. why you have to be rich. Get it. Yes. Like, all the, all yes. the families. I'm sure it's lovely to be a parent if you have a 24-7 helper. I'm sure it's lovely. Oh, my God. I'm sure yeah. it's lovely. Yeah. You give them back. Like, that's why I think about with my sister all the time. Like, uh, man. Her life would be set if she had a 24-7. Someone uh, used it the other day. Oh, au, au pair? Au pair. Which I was like, yo, you got money if you're sick calling in an au pair. Well, they live with you, don't they? Wow, really? I think that's what au pairs do because a couple of my friends did that. They like went to France. It, it, you can use it as like a, as a broad program where you go to France or some country and you live with them. You take care of their kids during the day and then you have nights off and weekends off. Some weekends, I guess. <laughs> but I'm like, what's the point of that? But right. you like put them in school and everything. Wowie. I don't know if I would like that. I was a nanny for a few years and it was very difficult. Yeah. I don't think not for one second did I ever think I could like babysit or like be a nanny like in my adult you'll, life. You'll laugh at this. In college, I was paid $10 an hour to look after two year old triplets two-year-old triplets trip so there's three mm -hmm. two oh my $10 god ten dollars an hour oh my god yep what wild right that's and crazy i know even then i was like this seems low and now i look back and i'm like yo no that's 10 percent of what you, <laughs> you should be paid yeah wild did something go off yeah yeah okay, it was fine. just the camera okay. but it was fine um but that's so so like what do you how what was it like to like Watch awful them awful they're like terrifying all screaming for yeah. different reasons yeah and they're all like one brain dude, yep. twins are so creepy oh yeah dude did you see that like in psychology in high school you don't see them very often anymore um i see <laughs> i, <laughs> I, I was see like i see them. a set of twins a day i see yeah. them but i see them in a way where i'm like discovering their tw twins in real time i just think it's like a very I always feel like an idiot because I'm looking at this person. I'm like, oh, that's how that person looks. Yeah. And I look at the person right next to him. I was like, oh, that person kind of looks like that person. And that person kind of looks like that. Per like, this is how long and it takes my brain. And it's definitely twins. It's not like siblings. No, it's for sure twins. And yeah. you're like, oh, my God, I think they're twins. Yeah. Like, it's like <laughs> that. It's like it takes you a hot <laughs> entire half, like a <laughs> yeah, half hour yeah, of like, yeah, yeah. I've been sitting over here looking at you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, um. I think they're around, but I think it's it's very rare for them to like actually look identical. Identical. Yeah, identical, we had identical, identical twins. I remember the Baldanza twins. Ew. Yep, and they it were like pasta. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love pasta. <laughs> <The> Baldanza. Yeah, <laughs> they were definitely Italian, and they, I remember it was like fascinating for the school 
we were like, wow. And they look Frankie and I don't know, I forgot his name, but uh, identical. I think wow. they actually switched in elementary school, like to fuck with the teachers. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, right. There was like this documentary about how when twins are, were separated because of like adoption, yes, they lead they, the exact same lives. And or they get it, like pain at the same. That yeah. was a big thing. Like got her at the same time or it's like my knee started aching and then come to find out she hurt her knee at that same time. I'm like, wow. Yeah, they yeah. both like somehow have like an elbow injury. Yep. And you're like, what? Yeah. It's wild. How? Wild. Just by accident? My sister and I will often. We're not twins. But uh, we won't see each other for months. And when we meet up, we have the same nail polish color. So <gasps> it's basically the same. No, Whoa, but it happens twins. all the time. Dude, that is so all the time. Honestly, of all the colors. <laughs> and you have. Think about how many colors there are. <laughs> think, I mean, dude. But like, actually, <laughs> you change your nail color yeah. like all the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's never the same I know. color. I know. What's your favorite? Color? Yeah. Usually like, like light, for a nail. Light pink. Light pink. Yeah. Okay. It's easy. Although I get. I again, knock on wood. I always have the best luck when I wear this neon yellow one. I was gonna say when I think of you, I think of the neon. Yeah, I've, I'm telling you, I always have the yellow, best luck. <laughs> yeah, my, 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 I had a stroke. Um, yeah. I feel that with like certain outfits. I oh, have, like tops. <sighs> Dude, it's um, so. You have bomb shirts. I have bomb shirts, and I have shirts that I always do well in. Yep. And I'm like, fuck. You ever try and make a bomb shirt not a bomb shirt, and it keeps happening? <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like. <laughs> Damn it, this is a bomb You're like, shirt. And then I all I do is comedy, so I'm like, I guess I don't need this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, I have an $80 like sweatshirt, cute. and it's adorable, and I love it, and it's perfect, and I've never done well. I, that was one, like a beige white, and I love it, and it's cropped. It's all my style, and oh, I, I totally splurged on it, and it's a bomb. Fuck. Yeah. I wonder R.I.P. why. You'll never know. You'll never know. You'll never know. Which one is my bomb shirt? I have, um, I mean, I know my good shirt is my like yeah. blue sh- flannel. Okay. That's a great, I mean, I don't. It's a go-to. Yeah. I think it's. I like, think I know which one you're talking about. I feel like for some reason, in my, my theory is that like it makes you look exactly how the <laughs> audience portrays you. Ooh. And so for some, and it's, it's like the color and the style. Yeah. And they're like. This is who they're, this person is. <laughs> Even though they don't know you, like, exactly. Yeah, they're like, mm-hmm. this bitch, she... I mean, I I feel like it just makes me look like a Midwestern, I don't know, like a Which, blue flannel. Yeah. Do you Which do I well mean? in your... Uh, your? Because I love... Uh, so you, the, like, shirts and, like, the top, like a... Not a tube. Like a, a tube it, top? Is yeah, it tube like top? like a tube, like a crop tube top? top. Yeah, yeah. But then the, and it's like Over, a dress shirt. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The green and blue one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Scooby Doo. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. That's a great one. All right. Good. It's like, because it looks good. It's thank another you. thing, you know? I know. Yeah. <laughs> I have, I have a few that look, <laughs> when I see myself on like people's stories or in tapes, I'm like, wow, do I look like I'm wearing a garbage bag? But I always do well in it, so I'm like, I guess I just Dude, look like a garbage bag. Dude, it because, like, I'll do my makeup and, like, my hair looks good. Yep. And then it's, like, if I have, like, a cute... I mean, I th- I think... I om- I know for sure I would bomb in this. Like, if I wore the sweater, <laughs> I, would, yeah. I would for sure. And I don't know why exactly, but I just would. Do you, So, uh, yeah, I have those. I usually like, wear, like, baggy... Oh, yeah. I mean, it helps you kind of like disappear in a way. Yep. Yep. And I don't I think, know why. And I don't know why. Because I've talked about that because I've said that out loud because I thought it was just a girl thing. But I have a few uh, like guys who that, say that they're too. like, yeah, I think it's just like you feel comfortable. So then you can be loose on stage. Yeah. I, I just I think I'm hiding. Cute thing. I know. I couldn't, though. I've tried. Yeah. People are like, go to hell. You're like, all right. I want to try this one shirt. It's kind of like, it's like one of those like see-through shirts, but it's like not too see-through. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but I just like the idea of you like <laughs> going up on stage in underwear and you're like, they didn't laugh. They I don't didn't, they didn't understand. They were focused. But they, <laughs> <laughs> they, they were not laughing. They were lo- locked in. Well, I'm going to have like a, you know. No, no, like I got a you. a bralette thing or like a tube top. Yeah. Underneath. Um, but oh, but it's like, I'll have to see it. Oh, I'll, I'll show you. Yeah. I'll take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. But I'm there's probably... a few girl like there's um a girl I saw recently on Don't Tell uh oh, that's that again. Oh, that's 
like that. Oh, I was wondering why. That's so brilliant. Um, hey, 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 stop talking. Okay. Um, hey, hey. Uh, don't tell that she's wearing like a mini tight. And I'm just like, good for her. But I could never. No, that's what I'm saying. Could like, never. There's some, I, I wonder if it's like, is it because they've like stuck to their guns? Yes. And they've only worn yes. like hot, cute stuff. Yes. So now the audience. But I tell you one thing, your shit better be impeccable. Yeah. You better be <laughs> yeah, impeccable. Yeah, yeah, that's the other thing. Maybe that's what I'm doing. I'm like, I know my shit ain't is not impeccable yet. So I can't go up there with that level of like, and I can wear this and tell jokes. Yeah. Like Nikki Glazer, her writing is impeccable. She can wear whatever the fuck she wants. Was she she looked mean, good too. She, uh, yeah, I mean, she has a great um, bod and everything, but she, like, I feel like when I think of her, I think of, like, just, like, tight pants and, like, a nice what, top. Yo, you should see what she's wearing now. It's great. She, like, wears <laughs> skirts. She looked good. She looked good. She wears, like, uh, never belly shirts, but, like, um, like a short. crop top? No, no, no. But it's just, like, tight dresses. Or she's showing a lot of skin. Or, oh, like, okay. even, like, the, I saw this beauty. She was in this, like, beautiful black gown. And I'm like, God damn, comedy show. She looks amazing, but it's just something yeah. I could not wear. I think at this you point. also have to, yeah, it takes like a level of stand up where you're like, okay, die if you're like, hard. If you're like fam famous, yeah. you can like dress up a Whatever little bit. Whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Yeah. Or, I mean, right now, it's kind of like seeing a guy in a suit and you're like, you're doing checks <laughs> in New York and you're in a suit. That's what they said Mulaney did. I don't know if that's true, but I've heard that like from day one was wearing suits. I Do you imagine being at like Laughing Buddha <laughs> and someone's wearing a suit? You're like, brah. Yikes. I mean, but at the same, it was like a different time. So maybe it was more of, of a thing. I know. And I mean, I would just assume that he was like a finance bro and he just got off mm. of work. Because there were some yeah. of those. Yes. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> bro, you're doing checks in a suit. <laughs> you're doing checks. Meanwhile, we look homeless. Yeah. 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 Um, but hey, <gasps> this was our podcast. This was so much fun. Well, not our podcast. It is ours it now. It is ours. I'm it's executive producer yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for coming on. Uh, where can people find you? Uh, they can find me on Instagram at Rachel Williams with the R and the W switched. So Rachel mm -hmm. Williams. <laughs> uh, it was a decision. <laughs> so it was the decision I made and I noticed that. didn't look back. And now I have to say that on every single thing. That's so uh, funny. And there's like three X's at the end and then a heart and then an exclamation. Point. Listen, some people don't have unique, beautiful names like yours where it's like, how many L Orlando's do you know? Dude, there are L Orlando. Someone fucking. But fucking think about it. Rachel Williams. It's like a oh, billion. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. true. But someone is keeping the L Orlando like just without any <sighs> anything. They're keeping the profile. It's the worst. Have you tried to message them? Yeah, they don't. Yeah. They're going to be like, yeah, one billion dollars. <laughs> Especially the more your following goes up, the more they'll be like a gabillion. Um, what is yours now? Um, it's just underscore L Orlando. So underscore the underscore up front and in the back. Yeah. Ugh, so annoying. Yeah. But honestly, when I like type it on other people's phones, like when random like audience it comes up follow, right away, it comes up. Yeah. So and I think the more you're following is the better it. Like it pops up, which is nice. Yeah. So fuck them. Um, so <laughs> Rachel Williams, R&W switched. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Bye. Bye.